98% of people believe diversity and inclusion offers companies competitive advantage, right? Um, and they believe that teams that are diverse are 87% better at making decisions. So if indeed people believe that, <laughs> and, and we have data that shows diversity, quote unquote, has an ROI, why do we still struggle with this? Yeah, so, so uh, this is where the conversation gets hard for a lot of people. Um, we as industries as a whole still struggle with this because the drive for diversity has to start at the top. Like, let's just flat, period, point blank, end of sentence. It has to start at the top. Now, when you look at the top, right? When you look oh, at the it's top, white it is, it's old white it is <laughs> largely white men. So, yeah, exactly. Though they are incentivized by the statistics that, hey, me doing this is going to make it better for my company and the people in the company, at the end of the day, in order to accomplish it, you have to get uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you have to bring people to the room that you may not be familiar with. You have to bring people to the room that have different views. You have to bring people to the room that look different. You have to bring people to the room that just overall, holistically, are different than who you are. And in order to do that, that level of discomfort is not easy to do or even accept and be willing to be uh, subjected to. So until the folks at the top are willing to get uncomfortable and allow themselves to be uncomfortable by doing this, right? Because it's disruption, right? Disruption is uncomfortable. And so in order to do that, and that doesn't mean um, you know, go hire a DEI person. If you look, um, if you look holistically across the spectrum of people in the DEI roles, they are largely people of color, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's because you know there's a large feeling that that someone of color is going to understand the need and the desire and and how to make that successful. But even people in those roles will tell you that in many organizations who have put that role in place, it is still a numbers game, right? So um, they do it for the optics because it looks good, but that component of actually feeling uncomfortable is not something they're really willing to do yet. Thank you.